If you owned an original PS3, also known as the Fat PS3, you may have seen this dreaded yellow light during the time you owned it, perhaps even several times. In this video, we'll take a look at the most common cause of the yellow light of death. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. The yellow light of death has plagued countless PS3 consoles over the years. It's indicated by the console's power light turning yellow, followed by a flashing red light and the system abruptly shutting down. This issue often left users frustrated and wondering what went wrong. The primary cause of the yellow light of death was related to the solder connections between the PS3's motherboard and its CPU or GPU. Over time, these connections can weaken or crack due to the console's heat production and thermal stress. If either of these critical components come loose, the PS3 essentially can't function. Another contributing factor was the use of lead-free solder in the PS3's manufacturing process. While lead-free solder is more environmentally friendly, it's also more prone to cracking under thermal stress. Lastly, inadequate cooling systems and poor ventilation in some PS3 models can exacerbate the issues, causing the console to overheat and increasing the likelihood of the yellow light of death by further weakening the solder connections. These connections weren't the only cause of the yellow light of death, but it was by far the most common. Sony did offer repairs, but often at a cost after the warranty had expired, leaving some people to attempt the fix themselves by heating up their PS3s in the hope they could melt the components back onto the motherboard. Sony did a lot to fix the issue in the later models of the PS3, the Slim and the Super Slim, but it did still occur in some rare cases. Did you ever experience the yellow light of death on PS3, and how did you deal with it if so? Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.